India has accomplished a monumental feat in human lunar exploration by successfully landing a spacecraft near the lunar south pole region of the moon for the very first time. With this achievement, India has joined the USA, Russia, and China as the only other countries to have achieved a soft landing on the moon. However, it also marks a groundbreaking moment as India becomes the very first country to achieve a landing in the South Pole region, a potentially pivotal site for future lunar habitats. The lunar South Pole presents a distinctive and demanding environment, characterized by temperature fluctuations ranging from minus 10 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius, depending on the depth and where water ice might be concealed within perpetually shadowed craters. The presence of water ice holds immense significance for upcoming lunar missions, as it can serve as a vital source for drinking water, oxygen, and rocket propulsion fuel. Chandrayaan-3's primary goal revolves around studying the lunar surroundings and available resources near the South Pole, and to measure the temperature, profile, and chemical composition of the lunar soil. Chandrayaan-3 has been hard at work studying and providing updates about the Moon's South Pole mystery. In this video, we will show you all the fascinating findings Chandrayaan-3 has discovered so far and will explain why it's important and what it can tell us about the Moon's history. We even have some incredible new images captured by Chandrayaan-3's lander and rover, so let's get started. Chandrayaan-3 was launched from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center on July 15, 2023. It traveled for more than a month before it reached the Moon's orbit. Once there, it made several adjustments to its path and altitude, and on August 20, 2023, it started its final descent toward the unexplored South Pole region of the Moon, a place no other spacecraft had ever landed before. This landing was quite challenging and risky due to a number of factors. First, there was a delay of about three seconds in communication between Earth and the Moon. This meant that Chandrayaan-3 had to rely on its own onboard computer and sensors to figure out where it was going and control its speed and direction. Second, there was no detailed map available for the landing site, and therefore Chandrayaan-3 had to use its own camera and radar to look at the terrain and avoid things like rocks and craters. Third, there wasn't much sunlight at the South Pole region, which meant that Chandrayaan-3 had to use its own batteries and solar panels to power all its systems and instruments. Despite these challenges, Chandrayaan-3 achieved a successful landing near the lunar South Pole on August 20th, 2023. Shortly after touchdown, it transmitted its initial image of the lunar far side region. Additionally, after one hour upon landing, it also released its Pragyan rover, signifying wisdom in Sanskrit, from the Vikram lander. The rover and lander then began their scientific exploration on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-3 has two primary objectives, to showcase India's lunar soft landing and roving capabilities, and to conduct scientific investigations aimed at understanding the lunar environment and resources. In pursuit of these goals, Chandrayaan-3 carries a total of 14 payloads on both the lander and rover, specifically designed to measure diverse lunar surface and subsurface parameters, including temperature, radiation, seismic activity, mineral composition, and chemical properties. Among the pivotal payloads situated on the lander is CHAST, an acronym for Chandra's Surface Thermophysical Experiment. This instrument features a rod-like probe capable of penetrating up to 10 centimeters into the lunar soil, enabling the measurement of temperature profiles at varying depths. This groundbreaking experiment marks the first instance of such research being conducted in the lunar South Pole region. The data gathered by CHAST holds the potential to inform us about the depth at which water ice is buried beneath the lunar soil, and how much of this valuable resource is available for future exploration and utilization. Crucially, the lander and rover will maintain communication not only with each other, but also with Earth through the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter, which continues to orbit the Moon. Chandrayaan-3 has been hard at work uncovering new information about the Moon's South Pole. Today, we're excited to share some fantastic new pictures and news with you. 
let's first take a look at this amazing video capturing Pragyan rover's descent to the lunar surface, as observed by the Vikram lander. This video was taken by a camera mounted on the top side of Vikram, which helps Vikram keep an eye on its surroundings and communicate with the Pragyan rover. In the video, you can see Pragyan rover slowly and carefully rolling down from a ramp that extends from Vikram's underside, making its way toward the moon's surface while Vikram lander observes the process. In the background, you can also hear some beeping sounds and voices from the Mission Control Center, providing updates on the descent status and progress. Those numbers are key. It's going to be the vertical descent phase or the local navigation phase. Within one kilometer of the surface. Upon its successful descent to the lunar surface, Pragyan rover captured a remarkable photograph of Vikram lander standing on the moon's terrain. This impressive image was taken by the Pragyan navigation camera, which is situated on its front side. In this image, you can observe Vikram lander standing firmly on four legs on a flat surface close to a small crater. Notably, the photograph reveals the presence of its main engine, located at the bottom, which played a pivotal role in decelerating its descent and facilitating a gentle landing on the lunar surface. The act of landing on the moon requires precise synchronization, meticulous navigation, and adept control over both velocity and altitude. Any deviation or technical malfunction during this phase can lead to mission failure or a catastrophic crash, highlighting why lunar landings are often deemed the most challenging aspect of moon missions. This image serves not only as evidence of accomplishment, but also pays homage to the legendary figure Vikram Saravai, who was widely considered the founding father of India's space program. The following image shows Pragyan rover again navigating on the lunar surface. This recording was captured by Pragyan rover itself, employing its navigation camera. In this video, you can observe Pragyan rover in motion on the moon, utilizing its set of six wheels that are powered by solar energy. Serving as the primary instrument of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, Pragyan rover is specially designed for the exploration of the lunar South Pole region, carrying out diverse experiments and measurements. It possesses the capability to travel distances of up to 500 meters away from Vikram lander and maintain communication with both the lander and Earth through radio signals. Navigating the lunar terrain is a far more intricate endeavor than it might appear, and Pragyan rover faces numerous challenges during its exploration, including the effects of low gravity, rugged terrain, the presence of dust particles, and extreme temperature fluctuations. This third picture showcases a graph portraying the chemical makeup of a lunar soil sample, meticulously examined via Pragyan rover's laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy often referred to as LIBS. This graph exhibits a bar chart detailing the elements detected within the sample, illustrating their respective percentages of abundance. LIBS stands as a pivotal scientific tool within the rover's equipment arsenal, employed to ascertain the chemical composition of lunar soil specimens by subjecting them to powerful laser pulses. These laser pulses induce the creation of an extraordinary high temperature and localized plasma resulting in the emissions of light. The instrument captures this emitted light and conducts an analysis of its various wavelengths, thereby identifying the elements present within the sample. A primary aim of this mission is to research and understand the composition of lunar soil in the South Pole region, which differs significantly from other moon regions. By studying the lunar soil composition, we have the potential to learn about the moon's origin evolutionary history, geological processes, and ongoing activities. Remarkably, the findings from this analysis revealed an unexpectedly high concentration of sulfur in the lunar soil of the South Pole region, a discovery that deviates from typical findings. Sulfur holds significant importance in the context of life, being an element found in numerous biological molecules such as amino acids and proteins. Moreover, it plays a pivotal role in volcanic activity, often being found in magma and lava, and can serve as an indicator of meteorite impacts, 
as certain types of meteorites contain sulfur. The presence of this element within the lunar soil of the South Pole region suggests the potential existence of past life, volcanic processes, or meteorite impacts. This revelation sparks a sense of excitement and intrigue, and it has the potential to reshape our understanding of the Moon. Furthermore, it opens up fresh avenues for future lunar exploration and the possibility of lunar colonization. The fourth finding, and one of the main objectives of Chandrayaan 3's mission, pertains to the measurement of the Moon's surface temperature, accomplished through the utilization of Vikram Lander's CHAST instrument. This instrument is specifically designed to gauge the temperature of the lunar surface, contributing to our understanding of the thermal behavior exhibited by the Moon's surface. By measuring temperatures at varying depths within the soil, CHAST can create a comprehensive thermal map of the Moon's subsurface, especially in the South Pole region. The results of the CHAST measurement have shown that the temperature of the Moon's surface and subsurface within the South Pole region can vary from a bone-chilling minus 156 degrees Celsius during nighttime hours to a scorching plus 121 degrees Celsius during the day. These findings confirm that the South Pole region ranks among the most extreme lunar environments, featuring both extreme cold and searing heat. These conditions present difficult challenges for any future endeavors in terms of survival and exploration. Chandrayaan-3 represents a significant feat in the realm of lunar exploration, and its achievement is deserving of our applause. India soon plans to work together with space agencies like NASA and ESA on combined missions to investigate various facets of the Moon. By examining its surroundings and available resources, we can get ready for future exploration and utilization, and the Moon may even become a starting point for future missions to Mars and beyond. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below, and please be sure to join us next time for more space-related updates.